All right, here we are. This episode brought to you by Siam Metal Detectors. They've been in Thailand since 2016 and are, and are authorized dealers for brands such as MindLab, Garrett, Nocta Macro, and Coiltech. For any of your metal detecting needs here in Thailand, give them a call. Hey, so we're back at this waterfall that uh, is still a non, non-waterfall. That's where we're headed down there. It's a little bit of a hike. Um, takes, I don't know, like 10 minutes going down, but like 30 minutes coming back up. It's so steep. Um, was able to get through the gate without too much issue. Um, I did haggle to get the local price. Uh, if you're a Thai citizen, it's 40 baht to get into a national park. If you're a foreigner, it's 400 baht, which is a difference from a little over a dollar to uh, a little over $10. Um, so anyway, I was able to get in for a cheaper price this time. Getting ready to hike down, got my backpack on, ready to go. Um, the guard knows I'm going down. Uh, he wanted me to wait for two hours, um, and I was like, well, I really would prefer not to, to have to wait that long before I get down. That's two more hours that I don't get to detect, because I have a, a window of time that I have to leave by. So, uh, here we go. So I'm actually moving kind of slow and cautious, being the first one down the trail this morning. Um, just watching out for snakes. Uh, we do have a large variety of venomous snakes here in Thailand, from spitting and king cobra to um pope's pit adder um or pit viper um quite a quite a few different venomous snakes so i really don't want to tangle up with one by myself water is even a little bit lower than last time i love these rocks just listen how quiet so nice. So how cool is this? It's like a tornado of butterflies. Oh, sometimes the beauty here is just amazing. So here's a pretty cool first find without even getting in the water. And just tell you a little bit more about Thai culture. So that's a, a type of amulet that's worn around the waist. Um, and this scroll is made of copper. Would have a blessing etched on it, stamped on it, written on it. And then wrapped up, put in this little uh, tube. It serves as a blessing. Um, so protection, um, fortune, favor with the opposite sex, I think, different types of blessings. Um, I don't know what this one is, so I haven't unrolled it or anything. So anyway, that's a cool first find without even getting uh, out my gear, which it's time to do now. but 15 16 that's either going to be 10 baht or maybe some jewelry there we go another 10 baht in the pan sweet <laughs> got my first ring of the day it is um wicked looking <laughs> so another Another ring. It's just a glimpse, but it's a ring. But looks like another steel ring. Pretty popular, it seems. Yeah. I knew it was coming. I'm hoping it was coming. First amulet of the day. We'll do a little research, see who it is. Sorry about that. All right, some kind of cool little pin. Let 
Neat. We'll look it up later. This is a little bigger find. It's kind of cool. Not really sure what it is. Now we're talking on a ring, class ring, university ring or something. Very cool. All right, and here we are back at the house. Had a chance to get everything kind of laid out, cleaned up. Uh, here's a top-down photo of everything that we found or I found. Usually I have somebody with me. This was a solo trip. So over here on the far left, we've got um, what are called 10-bot coins. This is a 10-bot coin. Um, there are, it's roughly 31 baht right now to the U.S. dollar. Um, so this is roughly 33, 34 cents, something like that. And we found five baht coins. I keep saying we, me, I. Um, some two baht coins, which are kind of cool. It's two baht. One baht, two baht you don't see that much of. One baht coins and then some older coins so um, this is a modern one bot and this would be an older one bot so you can see they were a little bit larger um, a few years ago <clears throat> the only old coin that i found was this one right here uh, and you can see it is uh, the date is right there 2505 which it's 543 years difference on the Thai Buddhist calendar. Um, so that means it is 1963, I think. And I believe this is a one bot, or it might be a half, like a 50. Yeah, so, all right. So some of the other items that I found, um, this little pin, that was kind of cool. Nothing super fantastic about that. And then this Buddhist amulet. Now, though, you can see that the monk on this amulet is kind of interesting. The monk is actually smoking a cigarette. Um, thought that was kind of, kind of wild. Um, and apparently he died a few years ago. And then this hat pin, Titleist hat pin, not all that exciting. And then found seven rings. Not any of them were like precious metals or anything like that. No big stones. There's two stainless steel rings. Um, this ring for, um, I guess... <laughs> If somebody's annoying you, you can punch them with it. Um, then this ring right here that looks like it was plated at some point. Uh, this little silver looking junk ring. Um, you can see it was etched. They kind of, you know, it's kind of designed to... And you find these sold in the local markets, just in the little markets. People will hand make them. But then the ring that got me excited was this one right here. And this is a soldier's ring. Now, when uh, someone joins the military, um, they're able to buy themselves a ring commemorating that. Um, depending on the amount of money that the soldier has, I guess the degree of the precious metal or any precious stones or anything like that. This one, get a closer look at it. It sparkles. It's very pretty. So, and again, this is, like I said, it's a soldier's ring, kind of reminiscent of a class ring. Uh, but there are, oops, there are no... Uh, etchings on the inside, nothing telling you, um, you know, what year, or excuse me, a name or anything like that. And then this little piece here, give you a close-up look at that. Um, this little piece would have actually been wrapped around a string uh, of an amulet, and it probably has some sort of carving on the inside. Uh, and then this little bell, not old, um, but again, there are some very old things to be found here in Thailand. Um, but typically in the waterfalls, you're not going to find anything super old. Oh, how, how could I forget this big, huge, monstrous uh, bracelet? I think it was like, you know, a piece of a bracelet or something like that. Um, but when I first saw it, I got excited because I saw the gold color. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's nothing all that fancy. So anyway, that was that that dig. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the hunt. There are some absolutely gorgeous places here in Thailand, so I look forward to taking you on more adventures, showing you some of the more exotic places maybe um, that are located around me. So, hey, happy hunting. Thanks for watching.